this is DFX Pictures and today I'm going to show you how you can write your name in binary. In case you didn't know, binary is the way computers process information and it uses base 2. Predominantly we are used to base 10 when we do arithmetic in schools or whatever. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But computers, specifically binary, uses base 2 and computers also start counting at 0. So since it's base 2, there's only two values, 0 and 1. Ones tell you if there is a voltage present at that current location, and 0 tells you if there is not. Now, you may have seen binary before if you ever got a blue screen of death, and it will tell you the memory, memory location error. Binary is also very fun to code in, although it can be pretty intimidating at first. Binary works in blocks of 8 when it processes information. So, let's say you got... You gotta start with the first number, which is 1, and then you multiply it by 2 because base 2. So what 1 times 2? 2. What 2 times 2? 4. What 4 times 2? 8. And then 16, and then 32, 64, and then 128. That's your first 8 blocks. But computers read differently than we do. Basically, this is how we would write it in order from lowest to greatest, but computers do it greatest to lowest value. So I did this, but I just flipped it around up here because that's how a computer would read it. So let's start off with some basic binary. Let's say you got a number, I don't know, let's say 75. Now you're going to have to give values to each of these blocks. And don't forget, you can only give it a one, which means that there is voltage there or there's a value at that block or zero which means there isn't now since 128 is greater than 75 we know that that block does not have anything present at it oh 64 is less than 75 so we know there's value there now we have 11 left now this block would i know i'm making it not straight so i'll fix that right now now there is 11 left, 32 is greater than 11, so we don't do that. 16 is also greater than 11. Oh, eight's less than 11, we do that. Now there is three left, four is greater than three, two is less, and one is what is left over. So that our first base eight number. So that would be how you write 75 in binary. Now, Here's another cool thing about binary. As long as there are zeros at the front, it will still count it. So let's say you want to make a second base 8 block. So just go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That would also be 75. It just more blocks and it would be pointless. Now, if you want to make sure before you're perfected at this, you can go to binary calculators or even on your Windows calculator. I'm just going to use this site in case you use Linux or Mac. Um, I don't know what Linux or Mac equivalent would be to the calculator, so I'll use this. Put in your binary and then binary to decimal. 75, exactly what we put. So now let's get on to the fun stuff. Starting to actually put in our values for our name. So let's say my name is John. Okay, I'm going to have to find the ASCII. Uh, ASCII is American standard for computerized something, I think. Um, don't quote me on it, though. Basically, it just gives values to text. So basically, any key you see on your keyboard, that has an ASCII value. And they're, sorry, it goes up to 127, but they're also extended. But we're not going to worry about that because all the main ones that we'll be dealing with are in the regular ASCII table. So you're going to find all your characters. So as you see, J's right there, you're going to follow it across to the decimal value, which is what we were just working on. So that's 74, pretty close to the 75 we were just working on. So let's go 74 for the J, the O, make sure it's lowercase. The O is 111. The H is 104. And now the N is 110. Whoops. 
let's start with the 74. Now, we know there's no 128 in 74. We know there is a 64. If you're not good at math, you can do 60, sorry, 74 minus 64 on your calculator, which is obviously 10, although I forgot for a second. Um, obviously no 32 because there's only 10 left. Obviously no 16. There's an 8. Now that leaves us with 2. No 4. Then there's a 2, but no 1. Okay, that are 74. As you can see, it's still in block 8, but it's still the ASCII value converted to binary. Okay, next it are 111. So there's no 128. I don't know this at the top of my head, but 111 minus 64 is, wow, I did that wrong. Minus 64 is 47. If we do 32, now there's 15 left. Uh, pretty close to 16, but even if it's close, you can't do it. So no 16, eight, now there's seven left. Four, now there's three left. 2, now there's 1 left, and then 1. Wow. Now we're on to 104. 104 minus 64, because obviously there's still not 128. And we're left with 40. So we can do a 32, now we have 8 left. So it looks like that. Now the N. 110. 110 minus 64 is equal to 46. 46 minus 32 is 14. Uh, 14 minus 8 is 6. And there we go. That is how you write John in binary. If you want, you can do this. Make it look more binary-ish where it's all straight numbers, it just, I even it out. If you want to make sure you can, once again, go on your calculator, you, you just go view programmer if you're using 7 and Vista. I don't, I'm pretty sure XP doesn't have this option, but once again, I found a site. You go programmer, uh, you put in the binary value, edit, paste, and then you go to, uh, sorry, word. Oh, wow, fail. That doesn't work, sorry. I'm being fail um and then john there you go if you have any questions or you want to see more videos like this i can do hexadecimal or whatever then just please comment and subscribe